We have a new Halloween movie out. Halloween Kills. It's the second version of the third movie in the Halloween franchise. And it's the follow-up film to Halloween. Which is a sequel of Halloween. It's not confusing. Hollywood's great with naming things. If my voice sounds a little gruff right now, it's because I just recently watched the Home Sweet Home for the Holidays trailer, and I'm pretty sure it gave me throat cancer. We're just gonna plow through it though. In all honesty, I'm from Minnesota, so it's most likely allergies. Let's talk about this film. If you like 2018's Halloween, I can't see you really disappointed with this one. I've been on the internet, believe it or not, and I've seen some stuff recently that's a little down on this film. Some people aren't liking it. Well, I did. Now, I don't think it's quite as good as Halloween, the 2018 Halloween, not to be confused with the old Halloween, which is also better, but it is a nice film all the same. It's got tons more gore, tons more violence, if that's your sort of thing. If you're a Rob Zombie Halloween fan, why? But secondly, this is closer to that in terms of the violence. There's eyes getting gouged out, there's uh, glass getting stabbed through the neck, uh, heads getting decapitated. This has a really good pace to it too. It starts a little slow, kind of building up some of the new characters, but then it's non-stop after about 10 minutes. And I think the thing runs about an hour 45, so it's not, it doesn't overstay its welcome. What people might have a problem with, and I know it was kind of irksome for me, was Jamie Lee Curtis is not the main character here. She's barely in this, to be honest. Uh, after the events of the last film, she's put up in a hospital for the majority of her time on screen which is disappointing to say the least. In fact, Laurie Strode's whole family kind of takes a back seat in this one. Michael Myers, however, is prominent in this film. He's an antagonist like no other, and they really show what he's like in beast mode. This guy is taking out tons of bodies. So the biggest issue with this film is the protagonist, or lack thereof, or the abundance of them, because the film doesn't follow just one character, it follows like five or six. Uh, there, there's a lot of people on display. Some from the original Halloween come back. Others have been manufactured into the original Halloween. There's a great flashback early on in the movie where we get to know more about the officer from the last film and how he was actually there on that fateful night when Laurie Strode saved a boy and got the hell out of that house. If you don't know, this is a two-parter of sorts. There's Halloween Kills, which is this one, and then Halloween Ends, which is, I believe, coming out next Halloween. So. They're, they're, they're getting the date right. I guess I'm not really sure what people are really hating about this one. If you're looking for a deep character study, you're not getting it here. This is a dumber version of 2018's film, which I thought kind of was a little bit more intelligent for a for a you know a movie about a dude walking around with a mask on killing people. I thought they kind of went into the psyche a tiny bit, just a little bit. This one, however, they're like, no, nah, Michael's just popping off. He, he's not having it anymore. I did appreciate how the movie takes the time to get to know some of the victims that are going to be coming up. There's some really fun couples in this one that you just know are not going to make it to the end of the movie. Otherwise, the music's great. You still have that iconic theme. You have Michael Myers kicking ass. You got like three people playing him, all the originals. And I guess my biggest hang up is just that there's no real central character. That It's really about this whole town. That's the real character and how they've been just burdened by this awful individual for 40 plus years or whatever it's been and how they just can't take it anymore. It's time for them to rise up and, and become this vigilante army, which as we've seen play out in other events, doesn't go over as well as they think it will. If you saw the film, please let me know in the comments what you saw. Like the video if you had a good time. Subscribe because you feel bad for me doing this with my voice sounding just wrecked. And hopefully next time we cross paths, my throat will feel better and things will start to take shape. Michael Myers is the shape. All right, I'm done. Yeah, I really do think it was that Home Sweet Home Alone trailer. Oh, you're still here. Hey, listen, since I have you still, maybe think about joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies uh, just because you feel bad for what I'm dealing with right now. And, and clearly the the amount of work that, that I'm doing for this channel is killing me. Um, so $1 a month would be ideal. I mean, that that's such a small amount of money. I think anyone can can just be like, yeah, here's a piddly dollar, you sad, pathetic man. Take it. It's yours. Or you can join here on YouTube. Either way, thanks. <clears throat>